Today's video is about kidney inflammation and it's coming to you from healthykidneyinc.com. This is our channel on YouTube where we empower you with information to help support good kidney health. So let's get into it. We're going to talk about a dietary approach that was used in glomerular nephritis in 20 people to help lower and get rid of all the proteins. So if you have a lot of protein in your urine, it is a dietary approach you may want to try because it has shown benefit and it's shown very safe and something you can do for a period of time. They did it up to four months and they found as time went on, they got greater and greater improvements, meaning they had way less urine in their protein. Some people got to almost normal amounts in the study uh, and plus high cholesterol came down. So this piece of research is from the Clinical Nephrology Journal, December 1993. So it's a little while ago, but it still holds true today. And we've replicated a lot of other studies similar to it to show the benefits of this approach, this diet approach, if you want to try it. So the title of the article was called Treatment of Proteinuric Patients with a Vegetarian Soy Diet and Fish Oil. So they took these people with the nephritis, with lots of inflammation in the kidney, and they had them go on a vegetarian diet where they replaced all their animal sources of protein and um, even the beans, lentils, all these uh, vegetarian-based uh, sources of protein, they replaced them all with soy protein. So essentially they were on a vegan diet with soy protein. And they did take some fish oil supplements also. But what the diet showed was that by replacing the soy proteins and going vegan, so they had soy protein, maybe um, tofu at breakfast, maybe adamami beans at lunch, tempeh at dinner. Uh, but they replaced the pro their regular protein with soy protein. And what it showed was that the proteinuria kept coming down and down and down, and they got full benefits in four months, and a lot of people even went into remission, which is great. And this is a diet approach that you can try. It doesn't really take anything special except going more vegan and using those uh, soy products for your protein source. And it showed that the nutritional status improved, uh, their cholesterol, uh, the people they chose for the study also had high cholesterol, so the cholesterol came down, body mass index was, count, was, was down, was better, and the nutritional parameters, things like albumin, those were all also better too than when they started. So it's a really easy, simple thing to do. What they did later on in the study was that they gave people fish oil. So they gave them a fish oil, the omega-3, and unfortunately in this study it didn't show any benefit. They said there was no difference uh, between the fish oil and not using fish oil. All the difference was with the diet. Now, unfortunately, I couldn't grab all the little, uh, all the details of this study, um, but I'm assuming, knowing what we know now about omega-3s and fish oil, that they probably didn't use the proper fish oils, and it was a long time ago, so I'm pretty sure they weren't using the right ones now that we know. Now that you can't just go to a store and buy an omega-3 off the shelf and think it's going to work. You have to get an omega-3 official that has high EPA. That's a therapeutic part of the omega-3. So you want to focus on the diet if you're going to do this. And then whatever other supplements you can add in are always going to be good. They're just, they're just going to help you more. We talk a lot about supplements on our website and all of our videos here on YouTube. But something to consider, something you may want to try that could benefit your kidney health. It's an option. Thanks for watching, everybody, and to your best kidney health. Bye.